everyone. Welcome back to the Isabel Lightwood edition of the Mortal Instruments Character Transformation Series. To start off, I'm using the Coastal Scents Hot Pot. This is an oatmeal tan and picking that up on a fluffy brush and just working that into the brow bone area. Once you have that on, I'm going in with another Coastal Scents Hot Pot. This is in flesh tone. It's just a shimmery champagne color. And I'm picking that up on a flat shadow brush and just pushing that into the lid. This look is really simple but still really glamorous. So once you have those two colors laid on, we're going right into liner. I'm using the AMC um, Black Cream Liner and I'm picking that up on a angled brush. I believe this is a crown brush. And I'm gonna do a really extreme wing today. Once you have your wing on, go ahead and grab your favorite black shadow. I'm using a BH Cosmetics one, but any will do. And I'm picking up a flat brush. This is maybe like a brow brush. And I'm starting off with the black shadow and kind of pushing it into where the liner is and then flicking my brush up to create a little bit of a gradient effect. So I'm putting the shadow down and then flicking it up. This look is beautiful, but it does take a lot of blending. Then I'm going in with light taupe. This is another Coastal Scents shadow. And I'm just picking that up on a pencil brush and using that to merge the black color into the lighter oatmeal tan that we did. This look does take a lot of blending, so take your time when using black, add a little bit, and then You'll see I go back in with a pencil brush and then add a little bit more black. But if you really take your time, you'll, this look is super, super beautiful. Once you have your shadows, blend it out to your liking, but dramatic because you know Isabel would have a dramatic eye. I'm just going back in and touching up the liner again with my Inglot AMC liner just to make sure everything is sharp. To prime the face, I'm using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Facial Spray. This smells like orange juice. It smells so good. And just go ahead and take a bath in it. And then once you have that sprayed all over the face, I am going in with an additional primer. This is the Maybelline Master Prime, and this is like the redness solution ones because my skin has been breaking out and I've noticed that it is a lot more red than normal, so I wanna minimize that as much as possible. And then I'm going in with two foundations. Again, another Maybelline product. The first is the Better Skin Foundation, and the other one is the Dream Liquid Mousse Foundation. That particular one has always been one of my favorite drugstores. And you'll see I'm back to using a paddle brush. I just can't handle cleaning that Sigma brush all the time. I'm sorry, I like it. I just can't handle it. Once you get your foundation all over the skin, to conceal under the eyes, I'm using the L'Oreal Lift. This is the CC Under Eye Corrector. It's got a stainless steel ball to apply the concealer. It feels so good on your under eye. And I'm doing um, kind of like an upside down triangle and really packing on the under eye concealer because I feel like Isabel would have an awesome highlight. And I'm blending that out using a beauty blender and then I'm coating my top lashes in mascara. The mascara I'm using is the Lancome Grandiose Mascara. This is one of my favorites because it has such a unique brush shape. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put on some false lashes. I really couldn't decide what kind of lashes I wanted to do for Isabel. I chose these because they're kind of flirty and you know Isabel is known for being a flirt. To set my under eye, I'm um, baking under the eye using the Airspun Loose Face Powder. This is in Naturally Neutral, I think is the shade, and I'm really packing that on using a dry beauty blender. And then I'm gonna set my entire foundation using a Maybelline Press Powder. This is in Soft Cameo, but I probably should have used a darker shade because I feel like it was a little bit too light. I just press that in all over the skin to lock my foundation into place. To contour my face today, I'm using a MAC uh, Studio Care Blend Powder. This is in shade Deep Dark. I actually don't think they make this particular line of powders anymore. And because Isabel has such dark hair and dark eyes, I'm going to assume that she has a bit more color to her skin than I do. So I'm laying down a bit of color and then I do have to go and build it up. Go ahead and wipe away that under eye powder since now it's been setting for a minute and go move on to contour those cheekbones. I am again laying down a little bit of color and then you'll see I kind of go through and add a little bit more. I'm contouring under the jaw as well and then building it up a little bit all over the face so going back into the forehead and back onto the cheekbones as well. I'm carving out my contour using that um, Cody Airspun powder because I feel like Isabel would have a contour sharp enough to slice up some demons. So then I'm taking that flat brush that we used earlier in the black shadow and just running that under the lash line and applying mascara on my bottom lashes. Once you have that on and done, go ahead and wipe away that loose powder underneath your contour and then we can move on to blush. For blush today, I'm gonna use a MAC blush. This is in the shade Poised. It's a satin finish, so it has kind of like a soft sheen to it, not necessarily any sparkle or glitter. And I'm really pressing that into the cheeks so that way it's natural, but there's still some color there. And then to highlight my face, I'm using the Balm Mary Luminizer and picking that up on a fan brush. I'm using that on the top of my cheekbones and then also on my nose as well. And I'm like, oh yeah, I like that highlight. 
Once you've got that on your nose, we can go on to the lips. Actually, we're gonna set the face, Never mind. We're using the Scandinavia um, setting spray and I'm just spraying that all over my face to lock everything into place and make sure it lasts all day. And then we're gonna go on to the lips. I am using two Milani lipsticks, but actually I was trying to decide and I wound up going with the lighter one. This is the Red Label lipstick. It has a little bit more of like an orange base to it. And in hindsight, I wish I would have gone with a darker one. That's what the look looks like when, before you put the wig on or any of the runes. For the runes today, I did the same thing I did with the Clary one, and I googled some runes, and then I kind of practiced them before I did it. Um, this one is power, and I like to work it line by line. This is definitely not my strong point, because I feel like it's more like calli calligraphy, I think is what the word for that is, and it's pretty difficult. I'm using a Mehron um, Paradise paint. This is in black. It's a water-activated paint. The rune I'm doing in the center of her chest is the Angelic Power rune. So I'm starting off with the letter V and then I'm taking one diagonal line and going straight out from the tip of one and kind of curving it in on itself and doing the same thing for the bottom. If I could redo this look, I would add a lot more runes. I only did three and I feel like Isabel being a, like a pure blood shadow hunter would have a lot. For the wig, I chose a black wig with no bangs and then Isabel frequently will wear her hair up in like a sassy, messy bun. So I took a claw and just clipped all that hair up and then I'm kind of pinning some hair to make it look a little bit messier and I did add in some dark brown contacts. I have a red necklace that I did spend forever looking for but it was really difficult to get it in camera. This is what the look started off with and then I wound up pinning back those two pieces in front so it looks a little bit more like... Oh, I'm going out to slay some demons and some pieces of hair kind of fell out while I was doing it because I was kicking behind. This is the finished look and I hope you enjoyed the video and I do have another Mortal Instruments one to come. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!